maybe it seems like I know what I'm doing, but I've struggled so much throughout high school. I mean, and I think that that's so normal and that's so okay because what we're only teenagers and to decide what we want to do for the rest of our lives is very scary and intimidating. The opportunities in healthcare are endless, and like many other fields, learning and training are a lifelong process. Hands on science courses and volunteer opportunities in high school can be a stepping stone to various roles in healthcare. You're gonna have to use your values from the ones you collect. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is this five? Yeah. Well, that's because I accidentally did five. Well, should I just highlight the fourth one? So that would be it. And so it'd be this would be your, one. So this would be their expiratory? Yes. Yeah. What, yes. So hold down. No, we need help. And then bring the cursor all the way over there. Okay. Oh, it should have highlighted it. Did it highlight it? I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then that should be it. Okay. So it's your point seven two. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. You're helps a lot. You're good. You're good. Mm -hmm. Carla? Yes. Uh, could you help us? Okay. With, uh, now, what's your why value for that? I've always wanted to help people. That's always been something for me. You know, my parents are immigrants. They came here, well, from different, two different countries, Mexico and El Salvador. And I've always seen them struggle, and uh, I wanted to help people a bit more towards the medical side because I really love science. I love anatomy so much. The human body is, is very cool. And so I knew that I wanted to do something with people at that point, and this program was the best way to help me do that. Carla's a phenomenal student. She's a great example of what our program can offer. I had Carla as a freshman for biochem, sophomore for human body systems, last year for AP chemistry, and now this year I have her as a student aide. Uh, so she's able to take all those skills that she learned throughout her first three years and not only help me by helping with the lab prep and everything else, but also coming in and helping the students uh, gain that information and confidence that she exhibits. The great thing about the Project Lead the Way biomedical program is that students who do decide to stay in the health sciences or biomedical field are really prepared for their post-secondary. The Project Lead the Way program, whether it's pre-engineering, computer science, or the biomedical program, are really important programs to have at the high school level. High school should be a time of career exploration, and many students will decide that they want to stay in those careers and some will say, you know, um, I thought that this was something else and um, I think I'm going to change. But either way, it's really important because students who don't have any idea what they're going to do and then change their majors in college, we know that there's a cost associated with that. So this program is definitely challenging because it's not like you get an answer, you have to do like what's two plus two and you solve it. There's a lot of processes you have to go through to solve the problem. While it is really challenging, our teachers, Ms. Weber and Ms. Middleton, they're really supportive because you don't have to work in the hospital to be helping people. We learned about a lot about mental health and uh, mental illness, which is um, are something I'm very passionate about, mental health. And, and there's all these different things that you can learn through this program. It's not just biology, chemistry, science, overwhelming. It's really, you get a lot of life in it, and it, that's what makes it more fun. It's not just like I have to study the periodic table. It's a lot more than that. So the school gives us a lot of opportunities. Someone came in, a speaker, to talk about the Stanford Hospital and how there's volunteer opportunities for the students in the summer as well in, during the school year. And I started last year during the school year and continued throughout the summer, and I'm there again. The reason I think it's cool is because I get to see what the nurses are doing. And what I love about the nurses is that they go in with the patients and they sit down with them and they have a real conversation with them. And that's what I really like. I, I like being able to look at someone, connect with them, and then, you know, be able to help them. 
Many come in thinking, oh, I want to go to med school, I want to be a doctor, and then through different activities and research, they discover a variety of careers ranging from an x-ray technician to an epidemiologist to an anesthesiologist. Um, so it gives them different opportunities and different pathways. Um, it also exposes them to the fact that not everything to do with medicine or the biomedical field requires an extensive time in education. Uh, so it gives them the opportunity to learn about options that they could start straight out of high school with some training versus something that they're going to spend the next decade or more learning how to do. Students are always inspiring, they're always motivating. It's their passions that help drive my love of teaching uh, and seeing what they can do and what they, what they think they can do and then realizing what they can do because of their dreams and skills that they have. I don't want to be a doctor now, but this program has helped me you know, figure that out. To people who don't know what they want to do, that's totally okay. There's, you know, life is going to throw so many stuff. You might decide that you want to do something that, you know, wasn't even offered here. Ask questions, advocate for yourself. So put yourself out there. Kind of have to push yourself a little bit. This production is part of American Graduate, Getting to Work, a public media initiative made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.